Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're going to episode 5 of Noki Bay. Il Pientismo's Surf Swim. This is probably the most pathetic one in the entire game. I don't know what he does in this race. I don't know what... I mean, it's just like he takes some sort of path. Wait, what do you guys have to say about this guy anyway? Just for the heck of it, I'd like to see what they have to say. But I'll, I'll, I'll explain it as I go about that guy. Uh, oh, you're welcome. And uh, he has... Oh, that's kind of sad, actually. I've been collecting a lot of coins. So imagine how many days he must have been waiting up there for me to meet him. Well, El Piantismo, I have to say, is a pretty competitive guy. And uh, now just watch us. Yeah, he's going to be saying that I'm the foolish man. But during this race, he fails so hard to win. I mean, it's just unbelievable. I don't know what he does. He just takes so long to get to this flag. And he says the best time is 40 seconds. It, he, It's clear that he didn't set this best time. Whoops, I didn't mean to hit my face on the wall, but that's okay. As I said, this guy takes so long that I just don't know what the heck he's doing. Anyway, just take a straight line all the way over to that flag. And I'm pretty sure he swims as fast as you hover, so yeah. So why doesn't he just take this path as well? I don't know, but I'm already at the flag. Where is he? Come on, where is he? I'm looking for him. Where is he? Come on. Oh, there he is! Where was he? Seriously, what path did he take to get here? That took him forever! And I even hit my face on the wall! <sighs> Anyway, he gives me a Shine Sprite, and that's the end of this one. I'll see you in Episode 6. Woo! Alright, the next episode of Noki Bay is number 6, The Shell Secret. This is one of my, uh, my favorite ones, actually. That shell, that conch shell over there, you have to get inside. Using the wires. Now, that seems pretty intimidating, right? Because if you look at how high you're going to have to climb, it looks like this is going to take forever. It looks dangerous. But no, it's actually not that bad. And I'll show you how to do it very well. Uh, what you have to do here is I switch the hover nozzle first, excuse me, and just climb up this one here. Just keep climbing, keep climbing. And now go up to this platform here. This is a lot easier to, to get up there than to use the wires. Just take this path along the mountainside here and just climb up there like you were to go to that mole and you shouldn't have any trouble. Now if you look, you want to get up to this one right here. So, no, no, I don't think I can make that jump just yet. Maybe I can make that jump, but I, I really don't want to risk it for the sake of the walkthrough. That would be kind of annoying and I sprayed a wall over there accidentally and made it pop up. Whoa, 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 There we go. And I waited a little bit too long, and that pot came back down. That was my fault. So let's go back up there, and there we go. So once I get up to about this point, I should be able to spin jump over to that shell there. Now let's just go like, woo! And onto this weird shell. Now just walk all the way around up to the top. Just keep the camera panning around you. Like so. Just do, 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 do. And just keep following the spiral. This is pretty cool also, I have to say. Now you get to this wire here. Climb up. I'm trying to do a side flip here. Work with me, Mario. I said work with me. I, I, I'm seriously pressing the control stick in the opposite direction. And he's not doing... I should say snapping the control stick in the opposite direction, and he's not working. <sighs> okay, now that you're up here, look out for these electrical spiky thingies. I already forgot the name of them. You know me, I always forget the names of things. And get over to that shell, and then onto this platform here. Now, from here, you've got a straight shot all the way over to that conch shell. And that wasn't so hard to get up here at all, now was it? See? Told you. So let's go inside, and sure enough, we have a secret area. Ooh. Once again, didn't hold on to his flood. He should know when he enters, he enters those weird dimensional places, he has to hold on to flood, but no, 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 why would he? No. Why get smarter? No, no. 
Anyway, we start off in this fish tank-like thing. I don't know, but it certainly seems like a fish tank. And you gotta wall kick your way up it. And get the camera zoomed out so you can get yourself up here. And one of these has a one-up if I'm not mistaken. So let's just kind of ground pound these until it coughs up one if there is one. I don't- No, 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 no! Oh, poopers! Well, that was worth trying for a one-up. <sighs> well, I'm not too far away from the start anyway. So I guess I can just try that second second nail right away here, and there we go. And carefully, don't touch the nail this time, Mario. That That's what threw you off. It was the loss of traction. And that only gave me a coin. What a freaking ripoff. Okay, one of these nails. Why, why do I always show these lives over here? Normally I'm not a life gatherer guy, but whenever you get into these special areas, you really want to look for lives just so you don't have to climb up here again you know to prevent game overs basically and what you want to do from here is ride this around and time it so that you jump onto this platform as well any lives with these nails here no that was the worst jump ever <laughs> officially the worst jump ever and that one didn't give you anything what about this one this one gives you a one-up okay now, this is kind of tricky here, but at the same time, very cool. This is something that you don't see very often. You want to do a side flip, then a wall kick to get up to here. Don't worry about this pushing off the edge. It just kind of hangs in there. So if you stay near the wall here, you'll never have any worries about those things falling out from underneath your feet. And from here, what you want to do is climb up this pole here, swing the camera around and jump to here. And from- whoa, 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 I accidentally touched the slope there, that was kind of scary, and you can just run right up this wall, whoa, 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 without any trouble. Normally, 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 and- oh shoot, no, 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 poopers! Why did I jump? Alright, let's try this once again. This time I'm gonna use the wire method just by doing a couple bounces here, and then just getting up there that way, okay. So, let's do a side flip to- Get up there and wall kick like so. And this one you gotta kinda do like a double wall kick. Oh, maybe you don't have to. Let's try and do like right off the edge here. And side flip, wall kick, and I made it. Awesome. Okay, now this one you definitely have to do a double wall kick. So, okay, let's just do it from like here and... Ooh, and oh, just one wall kick will work there. Awesome sauce. Um, what a... What if you go all the way to the end there? Does that have anything? I don't think there is anything over there, it's just a wall. And we've got some more of these slinking log things, whatever the heck they are. I have no idea, but these don't look like they could be any sort of building material with the way they're shaped. And we're over here, and this, this one's quite quick, I have to say, so... Remember, always jump when the corner is facing upward, and you'll never fall off of it. So make sure you angle your, the camera correctly so you won't have any trouble, you know, visualizing that. And over here, this is kind of, kind of, kind of flip sideways like that to get up here. It's not that hard to do, it's just, oh, uh, it's just the fact of that it's spinning and yeah, you get the idea. So you want to kind of go against the flow while it's spit while it's spinning and it always is spinning so what am i saying here i mean like if i were to go like in that direction dang it this is not that hard mario <sighs> come on platforming 101 man there we go and get right to no you don't want to do it when the camera's in an ideal spot unless i can just like double double jump uh, yeah, double jumps work a lot better, actually. So just do a double jump, and then go over to this one here. And we've got another one of these blocks. This one's more, um, like, vertical in a way. Like, it's pointed upwards, so you've got an uphill run here. It's not any harder than the other ones, though. So just jump up there, grab your shine, and that's it! Woo! Episode 7 of Milky Bay. Shadow Mario! <laughs> Did you guess that? If you guessed that, you've been paying attention! Good for you! Yay! So yeah, there's Shadow Mario there, and this guy's gonna be like, Oh no! A relative? You've gotta be kidding me! These people are getting dumber and dumber. Anyway, you're gonna see Shadow Mario swimming in the water there. That's another thing, he's swimming in the water! 
yet he's vulnerable to the water I spray out itself. Is it like a Pokemon's water gun or something like that? Like, you know when a water Pokemon is, you know, takes damage from a water attack, like water gun or something like that? And then... Oh, 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 oh. Like, maybe because it's pressurized or something like that? I have no idea. <sighs> anyway, he's going up to there, and... This is really annoying because of the fact that he he's always just a little bit ahead of you because you have to follow him. And yeah, you get the idea. But he eventually drops down to the ground at some point again. And he might be doing it soon, actually. And th that's usually the best time to spray him is when he drops to the ground. Or should say jumps down to the lowest level. Uh, usually. And he's going all the way over there. Spray, 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 spray. Oh, now he's jumping down. Now he's jumping down. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, poopers. Follow him, follow him, Mario. Use... Uh, uh, what am I thinking? I was... I, I, I just had like a brain fart there of a train of thought there. You know, like my randomness. I don't know. I guess maybe I'm off today. Uh, and there we go. Oh, I, I know what I should have said. I should have said, use lock on Mario. You know, Pokemon reference. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, there's the shine for Spring Dawn Shadow Mario. I kind of failed with commentary there. Alright, back in Noki Bay. Episode 8, the Red Coin Fish. Uh, we're going back into that Atlantis type, type of area, so we got to climb back up to the top and jump through the waterfall like that. And uh, he's going to be like, yes, you've been waiting for us. How, 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 why were you waiting for me? Uh, where, where, what is this blasphemy? Oh, nice to meet you too, and uh, you're welcome. It's my pleasure to get Shine Sprites. I mean, restore your place to its former beauty, and shortcut time! Woo! So, as implied, there is going to be a red coin fish inside the Atlantis area, and we've got to collect the coins while it's moving around. What's interesting about this one is that, um, the fish itself is made up of, of a bunch of coins, and they swim around the area. Now, they actually break apart when you get near them, and then they reform a little bit later. Uh, what do you have to say about this situation, man? What do you have to say? All the people have come back? Awesome! Does that mean all the Nokis that were in the other areas came back and you won't see them as well? I don't know. But anyway, jump down the waterfall and to the secret area. Even though it's not really all that secret. That's the red coin fish. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty silly, but it is fish shaped. And now what you want to do is drop down all the way to the bottom. Now, if you don't notice, see those bubble-like things floating in midair like this right here? There's Nokis on these. Oh, there's... It, they're not bubbles. They're jellyfish. Excuse me. It looked like bubbles from a distance. Like colored bubbles. Anyway, as I said down here, red coin fish. We're looking for it. Um, it's somewhere around here. It, it breaks apart, and as I said, kind of hard to uh, collect the coins from it. Maybe I went too far down, I'm not sure. It certainly feels like I went too far down. Let's collect these coins and go back up. Because maybe I can confuse the uh, uh, coins that disperse from it with bubbles up above. That does happen with me sometimes, so yeah, you get the idea. <laughs> Anyway, let's just keep going up and hope to find that red coin fish, or at least some remnants of the red coin fish. Um, oh, there it is. Okay, I'm at the correct level now. Did you see how it broke apart? Okay, try and follow it. Try and follow it to where you think it's going to start reforming itself. Like, see all the coins are gathering up at this spot here? And you want to get near them to attempt to... Oh, boy. <laughs> the fish attack. It, it sensed my presence, and... Okay, there it is, there it is. And you want to try and get as many of these coins as you possibly can. And I fail, dang it! Oh, it, so it only breaks apart at certain periods of time. It doesn't break apart when you get near it, it just breaks apart in general. So, okay, I get the idea now. I was a little bit... Uh, I, I'm gonna misinform you a little bit there, and there's... Whoa, whoa, whoa. this is a good opportunity to get a couple. Come on, man! No, 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 don't break apart! Oh, I don't know when it's gonna, uh, you know, reform and reappear back there. 
Oh, and you can also talk to these Nokis. I forgot to mention that before. Or at least I think you can talk to these Nokis. Uh, can you? Pretty sure you could. No, you can. Wow. <laughs> that was a waste of time. Like, now I gotta look for the red coin fish again. Oh, wait, there it is on the other side. Hopefully I won't take too long to get over to it before it breaks apart. Oh, that was not the right height. It takes a while to gain um, altitude, so to speak. I don't know what you call it underwater. For, I'm, for some reason, I'm thinking altitude. I know that's not it. Uh, water depth, perhaps. Anyway, keep climbing up here. It's reforming. And we've got ourselves a fish shaped like thing. It's five. It's five. Come on. We've got six. Seven. Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Can I get it? Can I get it? No. It broke apart. Now, that's going to be really hard to keep track of now. Unless I watch this one coin here, maybe that'll give me a shot at uh, catching it as it reforms or something like that. Wait, 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 yeah! Woo! And there is the shine. Uh, I think that's all I'm going to be doing in this part, so I'm just going to plop down to the bottom here, collect the shine, and end and, and this part. So, yeah, that's really all about it. <laughs> so let's get down there, and grab the coin. I'm also running low on battery power on the camera. I noticed so I probably shouldn't uh, make any more parts for today. So, grab it and go! Toodaloo!